Hello and welcome to Spirit Forest. I have my sister here with us today. Uh, we are at Spirit Forest and I was thinking that I would do kind of a fun video since my sister's in town. Um, if you guys haven't seen any of the past videos with my sister, I will um, link them to the end of this video. I'll link them in the description below. Um, she is the complete opposite of me. <laughs> <laughs> so. So I always think it's kind of fun to come out to Spirit Forest with her and challenge her to do something that she has never done before. So what was the last thing that you did that was hilarious? I ended up doing a video on it later. Do you remember? The sleeping bag. Oh my gosh, the sleeping bag. <laughs> I do not know how to use a sleeping bag, obviously. <laughs> so I did a video. Um, I don't know when it was. I don't know. You can check back, like how to how to correctly use a sleeping bag. <laughs> and I never thought that I would ever have to create a video of how to use a sleeping bag <laughs> until my sister came to go camping with me. And I'm like, oh, there's people out there that don't know how to use a sleeping bag. You want to explain what you did? I used it as a comforter. <laughs> On a bed. Yeah, she <laughs> she unzipped the whole sleeping bag and then had it over her like this. And I don't, I, it was actually, to me, it was pretty warm at night that time. It oh was my like, gosh, it was freezing. It was 50 degrees, it's no, warm. No, it was not 50 <laughs> degrees. It was so cold. And I'm like looking around, both my daughters and I were like freezing. And then here's my husband in the mummy bag. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> She unzipped the whole sleeping bag, used it like a blanket instead of like how you should use a mummy bag, which is really get into the mummy bag, let your body heat up that space. Um, she decided to unzip it all and just use it as a blanket. And I remember we did slumber parties when we were a kid. Yeah, and we with were our, princess, in a sleep <laughs> our sl <laughs> princess sleeping bag. Yeah, yeah, that's probably <laughs> what it was too. So, so anyways, um, all in good fun, you guys. Um, my sister has an awesome personality, and she lets me make fun of her. So, um, just I just want to let you know that in case you're like you're too hard on your sister. She loves it. Don't worry about it. So the challenge that I'm gonna give her today is going to be to what? build <laughs> build <What>? a shelter <laughs> i think it's going to be hilarious <laughs> so because she could build a shelter all day we could be here all day while she's building a shelter oh. so i'm giving her a scenario and the scenario is there's a thunderstorm coming or okay. snowstorm whatever we'll just say we'll say thunderstorm so there's a rain coming Okay. You need to be able to stay dry. You have 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. She has 10 minutes to build this shelter because the storm is coming over the hill. Oh. That is the scenario. We're not in this scenario right now, you guys. However, it does look like it might rain. <laughs> but we're not in that scenario right now, but that's the scenario I'm going to give her. Um, the tools that I'm giving her to build her shelter um, is going to be some paracord. It's a pretty good color. Uh, that's my favorite color too. Yeah, that's my favorite color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this the color here. Yeah. Squirrel. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, so paracord in our favorite color, and then I'm gonna give her a knife um, as well, which I'll do just a little bit of tutorial and just keep yourself safe because okay. we are we are pretty remote right here, so I don't want my sister injuring herself trying to build this shelter. We're gonna have to and, go back to the city where I belong. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and then I'm gonna give her a tarp as well. So um, I am not gonna give her any direction on how to build this shelter. I think it's gonna be very entertaining for me. And I thought if it's gonna be entertaining for me, it might be entertaining for you. And then I am going to correct hers, but I'm not gonna redo it, but I'm just gonna point out some things that she could have done better. And then in a next video, you guys will see me building a shelter um, and doing it the correct way. How do you guys like that? I think it's a good idea. I think we're going to have a lot of fun. So let's first teach uh, my sisters a little bit of knife safety. I am going to record some of this. So if you just want to fast forward a little bit because you already know about knife safety, that's fine. Um, but I'm going to teach you a little bit of knife safety just because I care about you and yeah, oh, I don't you. want anything happening to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get on the knife. Okay, we're doing quick knife safety right now. Um, first thing is that this, obviously, uh, when you're out in the wilderness, it can be very dangerous and it's very, these are very sharp. These are more knives. 
So um, the, the, the blood circle is what I'm talking about. So anything around me, you cannot be around me. So you have to be out of my blood circle. There we go. Um, so when you take it out of the sleeve, you just make sure you keep your hand um, on. This is actually really nice for females. Um, this, this blade um, is really nice. This right here makes it so that you can't... Um, I'm trying to show you guys and her at the same time, but I know you guys seen this in future videos but you just want to make sure your hand doesn't slip onto the blade. Okay, so, so why, why is that one good for females versus males? Because first of all, it's lightweight and it fits in your hand. A lot of the ones that, um, some of the bushcraft knives are really huge. Right. So you're holding it and there's still like this much oh, more on the handle, okay. you know? All so right. these all are right. really good for females. So I really yeah. like these. Um, when you're cutting, let's say we're going to cut paracord. Because you might most like, you might be cutting paracord. We'll see how, how you do. Um, but if you want to cut paracord, you always cut away from you. Okay. I think that that seems obvious, but I've seen some people do this. Oh. You know, and they're cutting into their leg. Um, this is also the. Well, you guys, um, you guys seen this in a in a previous video just recently. But uh, triangle of death, no blade comes right here. If you cut right here, your. Um, we, only, we got time, right? A little bit of time only. Right. That, that's what it means. Okay. So I just want to, you most likely, you're probably just going to use this. I know you. You probably just use it to cut the paracord. So you just do this and you just pull on it and it okay. will cut the paracord. Okay. Um, so you just want to make sure you, when you hold the knife that you hold it more of like a fist, okay. like you're punching something, okay. you know? Um, okay. So we're going to get started. That's kind of knife safety. And then when you're not using the knife, you're going to put it in its sleeve. Okay. Okay. I'm going to give her just a little bit of hints, just because... Oh, why? Oh, um, just a little one. I'm going to give you a little one. Very little. <laughs> um, there's trees. Right. We have a lot of debris on the ground as well. Okay. Sticks and stuff. Right. So, all of that is free game. Wait, so, I have to use it? No, you don't have to use it. Okay. All right. But it's there for you. In case you feel you need to use a tree to build your shelter. Okay. Okay. So okay. you have all the stuff that I gave you, which is again, the paracord, the knife, and the, the tarp. Okay. Okay. Got it. And you have trees. Okay. And anything that tree produces like sticks and stuff like that. Okay. okay. I'm only timing her just because again, we could be doing this all day long. Um, I'm only going to be timing her for about 10 minutes and that's it. So. Okay. You ready? Okay. Let's do it. All right. Can I record? Yeah. I am recording right now and you are being timed at this moment. Okay. All right. So I think I'm going to make it on these four trees. Okay. And I will take this is this all the paracord i need yeah should be okay <laughs> if you need more i guess i could provide more I'm trying to figure out is this what it's going to be like in the wilderness you're going to actually have four trees like this well i didn't plant these trees so yes okay. um these are this is these trees these four trees which for those of you on video that's oh, wait, that tree oh, this tree now? This tree, yes, you are being timed right now. You are wasting time. <laughs> that storm is coming fast. You can hear the lightning in the background. <laughs> I don't even want to think about what the bugs are. <laughs> kind of curious of why you're moving the debris in the ground. Because I need a place to work. Okay. And honestly, if, if a storm's coming, I want it, I don't want debris. Good job of putting it back in the sleeve. What the hell? What's this? Let's use this. No.
You're at two and a half minutes. Yep. Oh wait, I just felt pretty. <laughs> did we do there? Is that just an overhand nut? Bow. It's a bow. You, you tied a bow on the tree. It's so pretty. You're at four minutes. Okay. I'm, I'm almost there. better than a bow. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that watch my channel know I am laughing because I always get my paracord in a knot. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. You're okay, at you six and a half out. minutes. Seven minutes. Careful. Eight and a half minutes. It's getting really windy. That storm is coming. <laughs> it's always windy when it's raining, especially right before a storm gets really windy. And this is a doozy of a storm. Not bad, Look, using the tree to cut the branches. I'm impressed, Matt, Lisa. Let's not poke a hole in the tarp though, huh? Oh, that's what this is for. Oh, oh, is that, oh that's what that's for, okay. You're at 10 minutes. <laughs> the rain has hit you, the storm is there. <laughs> I made it! <laughs> you are protected. Let's talk a little bit about your tarp and your setup. Okay, so I started here. 
Made a bow, probably not one of my best decisions, but staying up. Yeah, you made a bow and you learned from it. Yeah, and I put it on a notch so it doesn't fall down on the tree. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And then came over here and I did it again on a notch. Okay. So it doesn't fall down. Yep. Um, and then here I, I kind of messed up. Because <laughs> I could have put the tarp maybe closer or right in the middle. But I think I like it right here. So that way you have like a little patio area. Oh, a patio. <laughs> is that, is that, that's a patio in case you guys weren't sure. She has a patio area. <laughs> so I put that again on a notch so it doesn't fall down the tree. Okay. Um, and I just use a regular knot. Okay. Um, same thing here. Just use a reg. I put it on the notch in a regular knot. Okay. And then this kind of gives it character. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it's an architecture. Part, yeah. But okay. It's going to keep it up and then out of my face. So when it's raining, um, <laughs> the ring goes down rather than collecting right here. Do you feel that the rain will go down off this tent, this tarp? I, mean, I think I think I really want to put like a rock or something there. Maybe if I had something, I would dig it to be deeper, so it's not going to like be wobbly like it is right now. Okay. Hey, look at it. it's gonna rain. Yeah, it does look like um, it's gonna rain here. I don't think. I think that if it's more like this. Yeah. Or maybe I would have two. Like maybe. Maybe two more. I would have like another one pointing out that way. Okay. Do it, but um, maybe re do another t paracord, like right here where it's stuck here, and then tie it to the trees. Okay. And that way it kind of holds in place because right now it's kind of wobbly. Um, <laughs> and then hopefully, you know, if anything happens, maybe I have four tarps. <laughs> So the challenge is one tarp. Holes. You have a wall here, wall there, wall here, <laughs> wall, maybe a door here. Oh goodness! Right. And then, um, there you go. There's your there's your little like, fort uh, that you made in in ten minutes. Not bad. Yeah. Are you ready for I'm some? I'm really impressed. You ready for some feedback? Yeah. No, okay. No bow. <laughs> no bow. <laughs> Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> Her fort has been made and now is ready for my criticism. So um, just to give you a little background, if you're brand new to my channel, you don't even know who I am. Um, I do go out into the wilderness. I go backpacking. I hike a lot and um, I like to practice like survival type skills. I also teach survival classes to women as well. And so that just gives you a little bit of a background of myself and it's just been fun watching my sister do this. Um, I have seen some, some mistakes and I will go through some of those. Um, and again, in the next video, you're gonna see me doing the same challenge um, and what I would consider probably um, a better, <laughs> It's okay. Hold on, I'm trying to think of the right word. <laughs> Just uh, you, you, you'd be more, um, more comfortable in my my yes, tent, sure. I think. So hers is uh, up, up pretty high. So you see, it's it's up pretty high. You have wind blowing. There's a big storm coming. I'm gonna stand here. And <laughs> I'm gonna get rain all over me because this is up so really high um, what you want to do is protect yourself from the water and the wind wind can be worse than anything oh. so what you well, you have not protected yourself at all from the wind oh. so you only protected yourself from the water however the way that I see this um, you will only protect yourself for maybe especially in a downpour three minutes before this thing starts collapsing on you oh. Even because what will happen, <laughs> even with your nice architectural <laughs> stick, I don't think it's going to happen. Now, if you put the stick up in the middle, that might be a different well, story. I'm not going to poke a hole through it. Right, right. That's why I was like, don't poke a hole. But, but anyways, if you had a stick in the middle, that would at least create more of like a teepee type structure. Got it. Okay. So, um, but in still, this... But still with a stick in the middle, it's still too high. It's still too high right now. Yeah, because you're getting too much wind. So what you want to do is you want to be able to block that wind. Um, wind is like crucial to surviving, like getting away from the wind that is. 
So um, we have a lot of water that's going to end up pooling right here. And you're going to find yourself doing this the whole time as water is coming through the wind and you're getting freezing cold um, wind on you that this doesn't really offer much protection. In fact, I would probably be under one of these trees <laughs> would probably offer you more protection, yeah. I feel, than one of these. Okay. So okay. this is more of a sunshade? Yes. <laughs> that, that's exactly so. And I don't know if you guys are hearing me. I don't have my mic on. She called it a sunshade. This would be a perfect sunshade. Shows you that I'm from Southern California. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, as for um, protecting yourself from the elements, um, not so much other than the sun, I think. Um, I think your knots, other than the one with a bow on it, um, yeah, um, that will probably get undone, you know, when the wind's all flapping this thing and this thing's like doing this and the wind, that's going to end up getting undone. Um, you got just regular overhand knots, which I think are fine. I mean, they're totally fine. So I think that's okay um, to use those. That's what everybody knows. So do what's fast because again, you got 10 minutes to put up a tent and sometimes you don't have 10 minutes. You got like five or two. <laughs> so um, she positioned the, the, the tarps really interesting. And again, I want you guys to watch my next video because I'm going to do this exact same challenge in the exact same amount of time. I'm gonna, I might be able to do it a little bit quicker. Um, but I want you to watch that because, um, again, speed is important as well as how many times you pull your knife out of the sleeve to cut. Do you remember how many times you cut paracord? Four. Five times. So, oh, cause wait. you had to cut one twice. Oh, I had to cut one. Yeah. So five times she pulled out her knife. Now, again, you're out in the middle of the wilderness. You're freaking out. There's a big storm coming. Anytime you pull out your knife, um, that is a situation where it could go wrong. Things could go very wrong. So you only want to pull out your knife when you absolutely have to. And I am going to show you on the next video what I would do. Um, so I'm not pulling out my knife five times. <laughs> and you forgot to put it in the sleeve one of the Once. times. Yes. Yes. Once. So again, that's a little scary too. Um, so we would just want to make sure that we are all safe the entire time. So did you have fun? I did have fun. That was, that was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. was good. Did you learn? I did. Well, you'll learn more when you see mine. So I think what I'll do is we'll, we'll record the next video for next week. We'll record it here. I'll have uh, Lisa be the, the one to record and um, we'll, we'll try it again. <laughs> Round two. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot for joining. Uh, I'm glad to be so, here. It's so ha I'm so excited. She comes here like once every four years. So I'm really excited, you well, guys. We are going to be coming sooner than that. Yeah, yeah, because now I actually have a house here <laughs> she can stay in. So maybe she'll come a little more often. Okay, guys, I will see you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching.